everyone welcome back to another video today we're going to be reacting to the brand new rocket league season 14 announcement we've got a new trailer and we've got a ton of new info on the new season so let's just get straight on into it with the trailer here we go all right there's the new map rocket league season 14 journey to the aquadome salty shallows suit up with mako admiral two new cars okay Got a grassy map underwater. Explore the depths for treasure. Yep. Okay. Underwater themed. New toppers, new wheels, new decals, tournament rewards. It's all underwater themed. All right. water explosion all right there's a shark and that is the season 14 trailer so just based off the trailer it kind of looks like every other rocket league season there's a redesigned map there's themed items but overall there's nothing super crazy new coming to the game just a new theme new themed items you know basic it's very basic um but let's just look into it a little bit more dive into a fresh aquadome arena in rocket league season 14 rocket league season 14 submerges players in aquatic ambience kick off uh in a new version of aquadome and deck out your car in maritime items it's almost time to brave the depths as we jet underwater for the launch of rocket league season 14 this season makes its splash march 6th okay this picture has the new map and some new items i guess even though they're standard and a normal OEM wheels that they should have showed off more in that picture, okay? In Season 14, explore a new edition of the Aquadome Arena. There's plenty of customization options in the sea. Dive into the driving seats of two new sports cars as you ride the slipstream in this season's Rocket Pass Premium. Upon purchase of Rocket Pass Premium, you'll net yourself the Admiral car body. Make your way through the tiers to unlock the Mako car body and others uh, like the Snorkel Mask Topper, Scale Veil Decal, and the Atlantis Skull Explosion. There's a lot to get lost in. Hmm. Sure there is. Admiral uses the Dominus hitbox and Mako uses the Breakout hitbox. These car bodies will soon be eligible for cross-game ownership between Rocket League and Fortnite. Thank you for telling me that. I really wanted to know that. Yeah, I can't wait to use my Mako and uh, my Admiral in Fortnite. <laughs> uh, but here's the Admiral right here. All right. I mean, it looks like any other car. I don't know. There's nothing super special about it, but I mean, cool. Uh, this season, the deeper you dive, the more you'll find. Ready to hear what else is waiting for you? Let's jump in. Less sharks, more vibes. Steer into salty shallows. A new location of Aquadome Arena was found near the coast of Salty Shores. Welcome to Aquadome, Salty Shallows, where you'll be much closer to the surface of the sea. With the shallower water, this different Aquadome environment certainly feels more relaxed with fewer apex predators circling the stadium. The new lighting in and around reflects this level of serenity, as does a careful curated playlist of lo-fi house tunes, including this season's theme song, Ghost, by Monster Cat artist Direct. Okay. You'll also hear new music from Zensei, uh, Arshand Ang Angara, Bound to Divide, Skybreak, and Danny Demand. Uh, here's another picture of the map. So it's very shallow. You can see a boat floating above. Uh, you can see all the plants and stuff. So it is a different area. It's not just like Aquadome, but changed a few things. It's not like what they did with like Neo Tokyo or other maps. Uh, this is like kind of a whole new map. They call it Aquadome, Salty Shallows, whatever. But like, I don't think they could have. I, I think they should have just taken out Aquadome from the name altogether. Because that just makes people think that it's a, a redesign with a few tweaks. I don't think this is a redesign. I think this is a new map. To be honest, I mean, it looks completely different, but whatever. Rocket Pass Premium, get ready for watery raves and jamming with the clams. By going up the Rocket Pass Premium tiers, you can submerge yourself in a treasure chest of aquatic themed items. So uh, yeah, like I said, we got a lot of uh, aquatic themed stuff for the aquatic themed season. I mean, nothing special. There's no new game modes. There's no new features, no new really anything added to the game besides just cosmetics, you know? 
It's cosmetics. Couple new cars with the same hitboxes. And a redesigned map. That's it. Uh, if this were to come out in like season three or four or five, you know, earlier on when we were like hyped about new items like this and new themed seasons, this would be really good. I would really enjoy this season if it were like a couple of years ago, but we're to the point now where we kind of want a little bit more, especially after they just removed a huge part of the game. Like we want something added, some new thing coming to the game that's just like, whoa, they're adding what? Whole new game mode? That's crazy. Like a brand new one. Like they removed drop shot. They didn't add anything new. They just removed drop shot. It's like you're taking things out and then you're just giving us the same season stuff. Like I hate complaining about the game. That's what sucks. It's like I get like comments and people telling me, why are you just complaining? All you do is complain about the game. But I only complain about things that I actually care about. If I didn't care, I wouldn't complain about it at all. Like, I really love this game and I've been playing it since 2016. Uh, and I play it off stream and off recording all the time for fun. And so I really just want what's best for the game. And it sucks to see them try so little every single season. Like, it, it seems like they're just catering to like really small children with just cosmetic stuff and that's it. That's the only thing they're focusing on. Item shop purchases, stuff like that. Anything that makes them money, they don't actually care about the players anymore. The gaming experience, that it just kind of sucks. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts down below, I'm curious. Uh, keep it real with the Admiral car. Make a fuss with the Mako car. Two sports cars are so slick, they'll leave your opponents gasping for air. Angling for a new aesthetic, swim alongside the shoals with the fish scale paint finish and kelp antenna. If you fancy a title change, you can rock the cool captain title or hang loose with the swag surfer title. Keep Aquadome's lo-fi feel going with the Gulf Stream goof uh, groove player anthem. To really start the party, spin up the title rave goal explosion or immerse the arena with the takeover Atlantis goal explosion. All the rewards mentioned are some of the rewards you can unlock with 70 plus tiers of rewards. Uh, tourney rewards, now with more lasers. The sea keeps things cool, but you know what else is cool? Lasers. Ooh. And you'll find plenty of them among Season 14's tournament rewards. Unlock a laser ball goal explosion, laser beam boost, and a laser trail too. Light up the aqua dome with laser focused items and more rewards. Yeah, so like when they do stuff like this, it just makes me think, okay, they just want to do as little work as possible. So they create one design, one effect, like a laser effect, and then they just rework it into multiple different items. So they go, okay, we're going to make this laser thing and then we'll make it a goal explosion. We'll make it a boost. We'll make it a trail and we'll get four different items out of one design. It's like, it just seems lazy. I don't know. Like, I don't want the same exact thing as my goal explosion, my boost and my trail. That's just me. I don't know. Rocket League Season 14 runs from March 6th to June 5th. Turn the tides and your wheels towards victory. So I'll probably be hyped about this for like two, three days. Once the season comes out, I'll be like, cool. This map is nice. Uh, items are cool. And then I'll be like, all right, I'm bored again. You know, I just want something to come to the game that like lasts, that like makes an impact. This isn't going to make an impact. It's not. It's, it's going to fizzle out and die. And people are going to be bored of the game after a few days again. Um, but yeah, hopefully something else comes along. This is just another season, in my opinion. Uh, that's all I got to say about it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.